week's topic, my topic, which is going to be recent news about the Flash movie. Oh, yes. Okay. I'm going to do a brief history, and apparently, according to you, there, and according to uh, Compacast, because I saw their video about this, um, you know. Yeah, their video is what I, where I heard this. I, I yeah. don't know if it's actually true. So there's, yeah, so there's a ti- there's supposedly a tiny bit more history than what I'm going to bring up, but I'm just going to bring up what I know from the history of this Flash movie. So there was first originally going to be a Flash movie years ago. Um, supposedly, Ryan Reynolds was one of the people that really wanted to be part of it because he wanted to be Wally West, and this was a movie way before they had I'd be down to see him as Wally West. That'd be interesting, yeah. This was before this was before they established the DCEU, pretty much. Um, but uh, it was going to be a movie where Barry Allen dies, and then Wally has to take over the mantle as a Flash. It sounded interesting. Got scrapped because they DC, you know, Warner Brothers stuff. You know, it, it's all weird. So. Um, then after justice league you know it was immediately announced that rather than doing it the avengers way of having uh, superheroes that will set up uh the uh you know team up movie it was going to be that they have the team up movie and then that would uh set up the spin-offs based from the team up team up movie which we've already gotten aquaman and wonder um, woman yeah and uh, well wonder woman came a little before but yeah uh, i'll still count that yeah so in wonder woman I, but, if we're uh, counting solo movies, we've had Man of Steel, we've had Wonder Woman, we've had Aquaman, and now we've had a non-Justice League Shazam. Yeah. So one of the other movies that were, were rumored was uh, was uh, a Flash uh, movie. And what I really liked were the directors that they had on board for this, and it actually kind of gave me really high hopes for it because they had the uh, guys that did the uh, Lego movie, yeah, whose Lego whose movie names I uh, actually kind of forgotten. But uh, yeah, I'm really terrible with names. Same here. Uh, but yeah, I, I thought I thought them doing a Flash movie would be perfect. That would be really fun. Imagine yeah. if they yeah, and it's right up their wheelhouse. I mean, they just got finished writing an excellent Spider-Man movie. And yeah, exactly. Flash is very much in that realm of like. The comedy mixed with action thing it's totally and yeah. it, they have a very diverse way of filming so it's not like they're just good with the animation they've shown that they can do action with 21 yeah. jump street yeah. this would have been the perfect choice for a flash movie but then because warner brothers kept, po- kept uh, postponing it and just shit goes on and on all that stuff they dropped out understandably sadly yeah sadly but understandably and yeah. so recent rumors, they had to go get hired by sony yeah recent rumors which uh I looked him up on IMDb. He's only directed one video. It didn't even say like short film or film, but Ezra Miller was saying that he really wanted to direct the uh, Flash movie, which I thought was awful, weird. I don't know what gave, gave him, made him think that he could do it. Uh, and maybe he could, maybe he, he like went to film school. And so he actually does have experience in this field. However, it was weird because he made it seem like, and I, and I could be blowing it out of proportion. Cause it could be like, uh, um, how some people will take like quotes that other people will say, and then they'll like, you know, mix mash it to make it seem like something way worse than it actually is. But from the way it sounded like, it sounded like if he wasn't going to direct the next movie, he was going to leave, which made me think that, okay, so either he's directing it or we are getting a very different flash. You know what I, 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 I'm just thinking about though. What's that? You know, before I thought he sounded like a petulant child when he said that, but what if this was like, what if this was like a play? What if what if this was his way of getting out of the DC film, <laughs> being part of them, and and it was just the most diplomatic response. He's like, you know what, I'm young and dumb looking enough. I'm just gonna try and get the directorship, and if they don't give it to me, I'll, I'll say I quit. And that way, I look, I look like an asshat, but it gets me out of this shit. <laughs> and and and. Maybe they give it to me out of fucking nowhere and I can just direct a movie. Like, it's a win-win for me either way. Like, maybe the, that was the play he's going for. Possibly. I, I doubt but that's possible. But uh, either way, they do finally have a director for it. Although, how long this will last, I have no uh, idea. They have a director for now. For now, exactly. Um, but it's someone that Warner Brothers has worked with, and it's the uh, current director of the uh, movie It. Andy uh, Mus- Muschetti, I think that's how you pronounce his last name, which is an interesting choice. It's definitely not a bad... I'm not going to say it's a bad choice yet, because a lot... A lot of horror directors have proven they know how to do superhero movies really good because you look at James Wan James Wan Sam Raimi yeah Sam Raimi and then and then you 
you also have uh, the both the director and writer for Doctor Strange. Uh, yeah, we're both horror, really like you have a horror yeah, director like doing Doctor Strange, and then you have a horror writer doing Doctor Strange, and they both do a really good job, I thought. Um, yeah, um, it, horror is like one of those things where it's like consistently low enough budget um, and like the tropes in it. Um, allow for low budget things to be like part of the joke sometimes um, so that it's 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 an easy in for someone who knows they can do something special yeah that is very true um, it, it, it's it's low enough budget and easy enough to get a cheap one passed by a board um, for like a, an, an indie company or a smaller company um, for smaller funding that that's kind of like the in for a lot of filmmakers I think um, they actually want to do something like well I have an idea. I'm going to pitch it to a, a smaller horror studio and try and get a small budget um, just so I can show off this one idea and then I, hopefully I'll jumpstart my shit. Yeah, that's what I love. That's why I love Blum, Blum, Blumhouse. That's how you pronounce it. But going into this uh, Flash movie, so this is, so yeah, basically what I'm saying is horror directors somehow do a really good job of superhero movies as we've yeah. seen like now in the past. So I actually do have uh, decent hopes for this and especially like what he said he wants to do with this Flash movie. So he said that he wants to make it a lot more of a character movie and a little less of a superhero movie, much like, um, to my opinion, it sounded like he was going for like a uh, Shazam type of thing, which I think for the Flash would work really good. I think it's, it's, a, it's a great idea. And if you look at the Flash TV show, the two seasons that people really like are seasons one and two. And those two focus a lot more on the characters and on the humans, you know, seasons three and four is when it becomes a lot more superhero focused to be fair part of that is that um the character uh, and 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 hero stuff the character stuff is a lot tighter um but a big part of that isn't that it's not doing super stuff it's that the super stuff it's doing it's doing well and after a little bit when season three comes around they stop really doing things well when they introduce a new a new villain or a new a new level of speed or anything it, it it becomes trite and it becomes overdone or or even more even worse underdone and underexplained and just goes on by and just happens it's, i think like yeah. with me with season three it kind of felt like they were just kind of going through the motions with that so and then season four it was like they tried I, i'll say this season four tried but it just ended up falling flat in the end, even though it had some great arcs. But again, even season four, some of the better arcs were, were like, you know, some of the character arcs. Like my favorite is still, I think they actually did the trial of, of the Flash storyline really well in season four. And it's a shame that that writing didn't consist throughout all of season four because that arc was so well done. And it led to like one of the coolest moments of the entire show. And you, and so it's where I thought, it's actually where I thought that I was gonna love season three, or sorry, season four. And it just fell flat after that. So um, I'm hoping like with the movie, we get something that can feel similar, not exactly the same. Like I definitely want something different, but I am hoping for something similar to season one and two of the flash. What made me fall in love with the show to begin with. I mean, I hope it's completely different, but I hope it's, I hope it's goals align with season one. Of the flash. Yeah, exactly. Um, that's actually a good way to word it too. Yeah. Like different, but you know, with yeah, the same kind I, of goals. I really don't want to see the same story again. And oh, I yeah. don't want to see um, a similar story to anything else we have in the series either. I want it to be new. Um, I want it to be comic accurate, maybe. Um, but honestly, if it needs not to be, it needs not to be. Um, but I think it'd be really cool to get a good origin story. I don't get why people hate origin stories. I really don't. I really don't get the hate for origin stories. Um, actually, interestingly enough, if they go with the script idea that was originally thrown out back in like 2006, 2007, you could get an origin story. It wouldn't be the Barry Allen origin, but you could get an origin story because basically the plot in, it, it would be a lot different from the comics because it would uh, consist of basically Barry dying in the beginning of the movie. And then it would have Wally West happen to step up as the Flash, you know. In this version of the script, Wally West had never taken up the mantle as Kid Flash. He uh, didn't even get his powers until after his uncle died. So after his uncle dies, he, you know, discovers he has these powers. I think a movie like that could actually work really good. I mean, not in the current DC and, universe, yeah, though. They, like, they're going to replace a kid Barry Allen Flash with actual kid Flash. 
I don't when think Kitty Barry Wong. Allen is like maybe 17 in his universe or something. I don't think anyone would mind. And to be fair, I actually think people would fucking mind. It is explaining. It is explained though that he isn't a kid. He's at least old enough to get a job as a uh, CSI. Yeah, that. Yeah. Um, you can be a kid and do that. <laughs> um, I, like you can. Like other than just work permit thing. Um, in a lot of states, you can start full on work as an adult at the age of seventeen, um, or at the age of sixteen. Um, like this, it doesn't even require a work permit. Um, for a CSI. I, I don't see a CSI being different from any other lab-oriented job, and I know that my sister was um, working in, in a different a different um, company, a different type of lab, not not with criminal investigation specifically, um, before she was 18. Yeah, no, the, the la the, it's just lab work. He's not, like, actually inspecting dead bodies. He's a lab worker, a lab assistant sometimes. 